Steve, thank you. And new details out tonight about the moments leading up to Lauren Smithfield's death. News 12 Connecticut has obtained the Bridgeport Police Report, and our Mark Sudal takes us through some of the details. In this report, Bridgeport police say when they arrived at the apartment of Lauren Smith Fields on December 12th, the man she met on a dating app, Matthew LaFountain, answered the door and was frantic. They say they found Smith Fields lying on her back on the floor, dead, with dried blood in her nose. Police say LaFountain told them the night before on their date, Smith Fields' brother dropped something off for her and she went right to the bathroom and was there for 15 minutes but he never asked her about it. LaFountain told police he and Smith Fields had been drinking and after she fell asleep on the couch, he carried her to her bed. According to the report, LaFountain says he heard Smith Fields snoring at three o'clock in the morning, but when he woke up at 6.30, she had blood coming out of her nose and she was not breathing. He says that's when he called 911. It was later revealed that Smith Fields died from an overdose of drugs and alcohol. The police department opened a criminal investigation after the medical examiner released the cause of death. Now, two Bridgeport police detectives involved in the investigations of Lauren Smith Fields and the untimely death of Brenda Lee Rawls have been put on administrative leave. Mayor Joe Gannam says the families felt disrespected by police and were not notified of these deaths in a timely manner. Insensitivity, disrespect in action, or deviation from policy will not be tolerated by me or others in this administration. It is an unaccepted failure if policies were not followed. To the families, friends, and all who care about human decency, that that should be shown in these situations, in this case by members of the police department, I'm very sorry. Ganim says the deaths of both women are still under active investigation and have been assigned to other members of the Bridgeport Police Department. Mark Sudol. News 12 Connecticut. And we reached out to the family's attorney for comment, but have not heard back yet.